the election, Nigerian election had not never been transparent. Most of the elections we have, we've not really had a free and uh, fair election. We've not had a transparent election. But I think the Oshun experience is a step in the right direction. It has proven to Nigerians that um, we are actually, the voters are actually the main, the, I mean, the vote is not in the hand of the politicians, but that the uh, voters are the ones that have the part, uh, the part. If your vote does not count, the politicians will not be clamoring for it. And we've seen where people, even though um, the people, the, uh, the people in power had some intentions, some uh, shenanigans, covered plan. Eventually, an opposition won, uh, won the election. So I think um, it has given us a glimpse of what can be achieved if Nigerians, the electorates, will put themselves together and vote for credibility. Uh, what I did was an online followership, right? I followed it online, but I wasn't there. Because what transparency means that everything that happened there was was kind of very, very transparent. Everybody can see it, right? So I was not there. What I can say is that the people that were there said it's transparent. And another thing is that it was peaceful. So talking about transparency, you know, the people are now more aware. For example, I heard that some youth now fly drones when, 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 when they are doing election, when conducting elections. Youth now fly drones. This is to show that people are more sensitized and people now understand that there's power in their PVCs. So they want to protect it. So now people are now more aware. They, they no longer have that I don't care attitude. Like when they are voting, it's like, what you consign me? I vote, I no vote, who go enter, go enter. People are now more aware that it's who you want. You have to take your stand. So I think the Oshun state election was peaceful and the people there said it was transparent. It's the same thing we are expecting to see during the general elections. Because when you vote and your vote speaks, that is where your, your mind will be happy and that is where everybody will be happy. But when you vote and your vote did not speak, that means you are working for nothing and uh, you are not encouraged. So the next time you can think as usual that uh, they are not used to even uh, value our vote. We are used to uh, buying the vote and you know that even ringing as long as they have get what they want. So it's not the best. What we need, we need truth and sincerity in anything we are doing. The, the election of Fusion was on a time far better than previous elections because of the new system adopted by our government. So based on that fact, from every indication, the indices is telling us that in the next general election there will be a far better result than what we have been having before. I think Anik is improving. From the results of uh, that of, compared to that of uh, Oshun, that also was not all that free and fair. But this one, at least, from uh, from the result from the from field, you can find out that, that most of the candidate and the review of uh, my candidate my function was minimal, and that uh, gives room for free and fair election. And anywhere they have a problem, then the, the both parties lose, and all of them get zero votes to make the both party to sit up and canvass for votes. It proves the fact that power belongs to people. In any administration, if you have done well, definitely people will vote you in. You understand? And uh, the new electorate has, has played a critical role on that election because it gives people opportunity to vote their conscience. So before now, uh, the issue of ballot snatching and, uh, and all of that election practices were order of the day. But today, we can see that all of that have gone because people vote and now matter, the vote are counting.